Hey folks, Strength Coach Sean here. Today I want to talk to you about something very important, the lower body cross syndrome. A few weeks ago I posted the upper body cross syndrome and I explained how overuse injuries, lack of exercise, and basically gravity as we age, pulling on our framework is going to cause some muscular imbalances okay, for the upper body. The same goes for the lower body. Okay, We're going to look at some of this, uh, the muscles today. Similar to the upper body, there's a tight and a weak line. Certain muscles get tight and facilitated, while their antagonists, their opposing muscles, become weak and inhibited and allow that vicious cycle to continue. Okay, so the weak line represents the rectus abdominis, our six-pack muscles, the transversus abdominis, the internal abdominal wall, that acts as a corset, that becomes weak. The obliques, internal and external obliques, they also get weak. Okay? The gluteals, all the glutes, will get weak as well. Uh, and the quads, vastus medialis and vastus lateralis, the, the quads that run on the outside and the inside of the thigh, they typically get weak. There are more, but this is the rundown. Okay? Now the opposing side, the tight and facilitated side, are the uh, iliopsoas, that big hip flexor that runs from the lower, the lumbar, through and attaches on the femur that lifts up the leg, that gets weak, or that, that gets tight, sorry, that gets tight facilitated. Rectus femoris, another powerful hip flexor. The hamstrings get tight too. This is interesting, because what happens, everything gets so tight in the front, it actually pulls the pelvis forward. There's an anterior tilt. So the hamstrings, they're compensating for those weak glutes, and they're hanging on for dear life. They're trying to prevent you from going forward, so the hamstrings are doing, they're working overtime. So sometimes when people try to stretch their hamstrings, it's not the best thing for them, right? They're already stretched, and that's why they're so tight, because they're, they're, they're working overtime. You need to strengthen your glutes, that's the main thing here, okay? Erector spinae, the lumbar erectors, they get tight. Your TFL, your quadratus lumborum, that deep lumbar muscle. Thigh adductors, again, they try to compensate a lot. And the deep glutes, such as the piriformis, uh, they compensate as well. And they, are, they, they generally become very, very tight. Okay. Now that we've identified that, what is something that we can do right now to prevent this? Or to at least try to help it? One of the best things we can do, folks, is a simple plank. Get on the ground, either in a push-up position or on your elbows. Actively engage that core. Try to breathe. Pretend as if someone's about to kick you in the stomach. Try not to have any type of arch in the lumbar spine. Hold it and hold it for 30 seconds. That's going to strengthen not only the rectus abdominis, but that transverse abdominis, that internal abdominal wall. And you're going to focus on your breathing as well, which is going to keep pressure inside. Okay? It's one of the best things. That's why everybody, um, that's why everybody recommends it. Okay? So practice your planks several times throughout the day. Also, glute pinches, standing nice and straight, squeezing those butt cheeks together. I often say, pretend there's a $100 bill between there, and you don't want to let it go. Two exercises right there, planking and glute pinches throughout the day. Get after it, guys. Let's try to, let's try to remedy this lower body cross syndrome and fight gravity and aging and all those negative things and prevent these muscle imbalances, okay? My name is Sean Charlebois. Thanks very much, guys. Take care.